are you a new mom? Who is yet to get diapering rightly? I may forget to change the baby's soil to diaper immediately. This is one of the reasons for diaper rashes. Hello mothers, you're welcome to the coming mom. If you're new here, you're amazingly welcome to our community. To our returning viewers, welcome back. Kindly subscribe, like, share, and keep the comment section engaging. Diaper rash in babies are a common skin concern for infants and toddlers. They can cause redness, scales, patches to appear in the genital area on a child's bottom. In some cases, rashes may even spread up the child's legs to the stomach. Diaper rashes are common because they grow in warm, moist places, which makes a diaper the perfect place for the rash to develop. Causes of diaper rash There are many factors that can make diaper rash more likely to appear. Factors like Diapers that are too tight. You try to reduce the tightness of the diaper on your baby. Truth be told, my son never had any diaper rash. I was very careful with all these courses I'm sharing with you. Two, inappropriate ways of cleaning the baby's buttocks. Wash your baby's buttocks after each pull with melt soap and water. Raise the male genitals. Raise it up. Ensure you wash every corner appropriately without leaving out any leftover feces. Leaving an extra feces could develop diaper rash in your baby. For the females, wash from the front to the back. Or if you are using wipes, clean from the front to the back. The third cause is also a reaction to antibiotics. The fourth cause could be an allergic reaction to laundry detergents. Some detergents are hard. Some wipes are not suitable for your baby's skin. Also, an allergic reaction to newly introduced foods or formula. When you just newly introduce food to your baby, there is a likelihood that your baby is going to have a diaper rash as a sign of change your food or formula. Tips to help relieve your child's diaper rash or how to prevent diaper rash before it starts. Fortunately, you can treat most mild cases of diaper rash at home. Try these tips. Tip number one, keep it clean and dry. The most important step you can take to prevent and treat a rash is keeping your baby's diaper dry and clean. Avoid wipes with alcohol. You can lay towels or disposable waterproof pad. Lay it down so that your child can have some diaper free time. You don't need to use diaper all the time. When they are at home, let them free their buttocks. They don't need to wear diapers all the time. Tip number two, change diapers often. It's best to change your, your child's diaper as soon as possible if you really want your baby to be free from diaper rash. You need to sacrifice that extra time and extra diaper for your baby. I advise mothers to change wear diapers right away, especially if your child has an active diaper rash. You should change them every 120 minutes. 120 minutes. Tip number three. Check the size of your child's diaper. Wearing the wrong size diaper can cause or increase the chances of diaper rash and make it harder for an active rash to heal. A diaper that is too tight can cause extra moisture and faster rash growth. A diaper that is too large, on the other hand, can rub and cause friction that makes rashes worse. Check your child's current diaper size. Switching to a new size might help. Tip number four, apply soothing creams. Apply a thin layer of soothing cream to prevent stool or urine from touching your baby's skin directly. Example of this product are baby tributan, 
pseudo cream vaseline may be ideal also since it is cost friendly and contain fewer dyes or perfumes tip number five wash your hands after each diaper change so so important hand washing can prevent the spread of bacterial or yeasts to other parts of your baby's body other alternative tips to suit your child's rashes are breast milk you can add breast milk to the area where diaper rash is showing and also aloe vera for home remedies there are some products to avoid products to avoid avoid using highly fragrance or scented products avoid using baby powder on your baby it's a no-no for babies because they can inhale it which can harm their lungs please avoid cornstarch at all costs products that have cornstarch avoid it it worsens their parash watch and read products before buying them i hope these tips and preventions help the coming mom cares so much about your baby and we hope you have an amazing and stress-free journey in this motherhood do not forget to like subscribe and share thank you see you in my next video bye